there's no blue line. It's really confused in this parking lot. Do have a vehicle in front of us moving, which you can see on the center display here. And again, there's absolutely no movement by the FSD. Okay, so here are the release notes for this update. This is version 12.3.4 of the FSD Supervised, not FSD Beta anymore, so I apologize if I do say that in the video. And this is 2024.3.15. So everything else is the same in terms of um, the verbiage here on the release notes. So let's jump right into a test drive. Okay, so here we go. We have our destination set here. I'm gonna turn on autopilot and the right turn signal comes on. You can see it's following the navigation here. One guy is in the left turn lane there and it does identify that car and it does make the right turn. Some hard braking right there. Coming up for a right hand turn. Almost unnecessary slowdown back there. And now slowing down for the stop sign. It's gonna come to a complete stop at this divided highway. And now creep forward for visibility. You can see this blue line. It's not going to pass that line. Oh, that car scared. barely stopped. <laughs> and now there is a very fast car and it did see it. I almost had to hit the brake, but the FSD supervised was able to make the correction. So it almost pulled out. This Audi in front of us was going pretty quick around the curve and the FSD beta was able to see it and uh, it, while it was pulling out and then did end up stopping. Left hand turn here onto this highway. We do have a green arrow, so it should not hesitate and just follow these vehicles here, which it does. Excellent job. Very smooth left turn. Entering a little bit of a construction zone here, you can see that the road is gonna veer left, which the FSD beta does see. You can tell by the blue line on the center display. An excellent job there navigating this construction zone. Significant slowdown ahead, and now the FSD beta is slowing down. You can see that it is using some brake here to slow down. So I would have liked to see the FSD beta kind of slow down a little bit before because as a driver, I could see the cars in front of us slowing down and it took the FSD beta a couple extra seconds to identify that the cars were stopped in front of us. Some temporary stoplights uh, you can see are set up here at this intersection. Pretty cool to see that the FSD supervised is identifying these stoplights as normal. So this is typically a traffic or a stoplight intersection. So it is identifying these um, as normal. So we do have a green arrow now. It did start to go. I'm giving it some acceler <laughs> some uh, <laughs> encouragement there. Um, it did almost jump forward and then stop. Um, so I did have some traffic behind me, so I didn't want to cause them to feel aggravated. So I just went ahead and pushed the accelerator just a little bit to give it some encouragement to go. You can see if you rewind that clip right there that it did lunge forward before stopping, almost hesitant. And I think that had to do with the temporary traffic signals that were up um, because of that construction area back there. Now we do have a work zone speed limit, 25 miles an hour. It'll be interesting to see, yep. So it does look like that the FSD supervised did pick that up. And we have another construction zone here with a one lane road ahead. And again, a temporary signal. So you can see that this uh, traffic signal is set up as a temporary traffic signal. So this should not be in the map data uh, for the FSD supervised, but you can see that the FSD is identifying this temporary signal that is red above us. Um, it might be really interesting to see if we were the lead car and it didn't have anybody to follow how it would do this um, construction area differently, but I think this is equally going to be challenging because it goes go into a one lane road here. Green 
light on the temporary traffic signal and we are going to follow these cars it does look like we need to cross over the double yellow right now you can see that the cones are set up and the fsd beta is following it single lane here a couple of construction workers it is doing a good job following so far so good you can see here is where the oncoming traffic is waiting because of this single lane and now at this next kind of traffic signal intersection where there is a stop sign we do need to make a right turn. You can see that the blinker did come on. It's gonna to come to a full stop here and then make this right hand turn. You can see all this construction here, so it needs to go around this. And great job by the FSD supervised going around that construction area. And again, some more construction here and it's still doing an excellent job. Now the FSD did pull back all the way here to allow that car to come out it looked like because the traffic was stopped in front as to not block that little intersection back there. That was really smart by the FSD beta and most human drivers don't do that. Coming out of that construction zone there, no more road cones, speed limit going back up to 35, which it does switch to. And now we are on a regular two lane road here. Green light, although I can't see it behind this truck, maybe it is seeing it over here on the side and it does go. Now we are gonna be making a left-hand turn coming up here really quickly. And here's our left turn. Blinker comes on. Absolutely no oncoming traffic. It should just cruise right through this. Does slow down for the turn. And pretty smooth. Now navigating this parking lot, our destination point is right in front of us. Now in my last FSD uh, supervised video, 12.3.3, somebody did comment on there that the uh, FSD is unable to do angled parking spots, which I did confirm with 12.3.3. So we are at our destination. I'm gonna go ahead and push on the brake, um, on the brake to disengage autopilot. Destination reached. And now I'm gonna creep forward. You can see that these parking spots are being identified here, but since these parking spots over here are angled, um, Let's see if they do pop up. So you can see right in front of me, these are angled parking spots, which now I'm creeping uh, slowly. And you can see that none of these angled spots are coming up. So even if I come to a stop, it should be able to see the parking spots on either side of this car right over here to the right. And it is not seeing any of these parking spots. And so even if I pull right here, you can see from the footage that there are all these angled spots here and it is only going into this park assist mode um, to help us park, but it is not able to actually park uh, with the auto park feature. So the angled spots um, is a feature that will come in a later update. Okay, we have our destination set. Uh, my foot was just lifted off the brake and you saw that the uh, steering wheel did come up saying that I could engage FSD. You can see here on the center display that these are diagonal spots again. And so I'm just going to pull down and turn on the FSD. So no blue line yet. FSD is on. I haven't not done anything to the car other than engage FSD. And you can see that it's not going anywhere. There's no blue line. It's really confused in this parking lot. We do have a vehicle in front of us moving, which you can see on the center display here. And again, there's absolutely no movement by the FSD. We are in drive, we do have the blue light, but it is basically stuck. Like it cannot compute these angled uh, parking spots right now. So what I'm gonna do is give it some encouragement. I'm gonna push on the accelerator a little bit and see what happens. Still no blue line, as you can see. Pushing the accelerator again. One more time. Let's see if it will start to go after I get out. I'm about level with these vehicles right now. I'm gonna push the accelerator again, and now it does identify that this is where it can turn out. 
this has definitely been a struggle of um, FSD and so you can see we're about to hit this curb it does stop I have my foot covering the brake but I doubt it will go in reverse okay so now it was getting ready to drive over this curb um, I'm gonna put my foot in the brake and put it in reverse so definitely still struggling with parking lots I think that's why um, actual smart summon has not been released yet and so our blinker is still on FSD attempted to drive over the curb so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on autopilot again and again in this parking lot it is stopped so giving it some encouragement again it needs to turn left and then turn right at the end of this row to get out of here this car is blue but it is not moving at all creeping really slowly through this parking lot here now coming to a stop before it does continue and it looks like it's going to turn left here which is the incorrect direction but maybe it's using the map data to get out of this parking lot so really confused here coming to the stop sign making a full stop here and I do believe there is another way out of this parking lot if we do turn left so again like I was saying I think that's why the actual smart summon has not been released yet it is definitely still struggling in parking lots because there are so many different types and shapes and sizes of parking lots full stop here making a left-hand turn to follow the navigation. It is clear there is no traffic and it does pull out. A little slow there in terms of pulling out, there was absolutely no traffic. So I can definitely see how that might be frustrating for somebody who's just using FSD for the first time. Coming to a stop here at this red light, we can turn right on red. It is creeping now for visibility. It looks like, yes, we do have a green light here and it does make the turn right away. The blinker of this truck come on, comes on. I would like to see, especially because we, all right, so we got a forward collision warning. The FSD beta is under control. Um, and the forward collision warning is a pain point for us because you do get docked on the Tesla insurance for the forward collision warning. And a lot of times a parked car on the side of the road will give you that false forward collision warning. Now, what I was gonna say back there is, when that truck was turning, as soon as the turn signal comes on, because we are in assertive and the FSD should have seen that um, and gotten over to the left lane to pass that truck as it was turning. So we are in a little construction zone area here. You can see that um, it is 25 miles an hour here, but it is maintaining speed with the traffic in front of us. That's why it's going above 20. Now slowing down here, as you can see a pedestrian and this vehicle on the side here. So really good. Again, I think this auto speed limit adjustment here is really good and it does a really good job. Of course, there's room for improvement, but I think overall this newer feature is really, really good in terms of slowing up or speeding, uh, slowing down or speeding up for or dependent on the situation. So now we have a traffic signal here, but the traffic signal is covered up. So it should just use the stop line, stop sign here. You can see that it is identifying the traffic signals. Full stop here, it is our turn to go. And a little bit of hesitation, slight hesitation there, but it does end up going. Now we are going back here. You can see that there is a temporary stop sign uh, up here and we are gonna not be the lead car unfortunately again we are going into a one lane area and so we're going to wait here for the light to turn green so as you can see from the center display the temporary stoplight did turn green we are going to go and follow these cars through this little construction area with one lane Again, all the markings are messed up and the FSD beta is doing a good job. Pretty easy here following. I would like to test this again, being the lead car, but kind of hard to uh, set that up. Speeding up here at the end of this construction area, really nice to see. Again, I think it's maintaining speed with the car in front of us here.
right turn coming up here. Turn signal does come on nice and early, which is an improvement. Previous software updates or previous FSD beta versions did not turn on the turn signal until it was actually turning. So really nice to see that smooth right turn and some good acceleration here. Those last couple curves were really smooth, really incredible. The auto speed limit did a great job. This is a unique intersection that we have here. We do have a yield and we need to yield to the traffic on this highway, which there was none. And so I was able to merge onto the highway pretty quickly and get over. Excellent job navigating that unique intersection. So I'm gonna end the test here. Again, this is um, not a huge step forward, I think. Um, it was hard for me to notice anything that was better than the last software update, but I think there are some probably incremental things that were improved that I wasn't able to test in this video, but stay tuned. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button so you can watch all of the software updates as soon as they come out. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.